been a dream come true just being in the NHL. I got got in at a young age, um, you know, being a head strength conditioning coach at the age of 26. Um, it's something that isn't very common. So uh, I feel very fortunate to have climbed the ranks that fast and, you know, have had a significant impact in a lot of these professional players' lives and, you know, being able to work with them at a young age that I was, you know. Here's Tommy Powers, a former defenseman and occasional forward for the UMass Lowell Hockey Riverhawks. He graduated back in 2009 with a degree in exercise physiology and nutrition. Now, only 29 years of age, his life in some ways has come full circle. He grew up in Florida playing roller hockey. Currently, he is the strength and conditioning coach for the National Hockey League's Florida Panthers. You know, actually, I think I was in Phoenix or maybe right before Phoenix, I was in Calgary, I came home and uh, hung out with some buddies and I said, you know what, one day I'm gonna be the strength coach here in Florida and I'll be able to see you guys a lot more and you know, you can come to games and this and that. And you know, I, I don't know if I 100% believed it or not, you know, but uh, for that to actually happen, you know, somebody upstairs had to be looking out for me and know that that's exactly what I wanted and, and made it happen. So I'm very fortunate. Well, obviously I dreamed of, of being a player and, uh, and I probably didn't give up that dream till I was about 26 or so. Even, you know, I, I went to a East Coast trial for the Florida Everblades and still felt like I had a chance, you know, even though I, I uh, graduated from UMass Lowell a little bit early and went to work in Calgary and gained some experience from the trainer that I worked with while I was playing and still trained myself as a player because I wanted to go to this tryout and, and prove that I could play. And unfortunately I got hurt, but you know what, looking back, I, I had a plan B and that plan B was to be in sports medicine or strength conditioning or, you know, exercise physiology. And for it to just all unravel the way that it did and, and end up being a, you know, a strength conditioning coach in the NHL so, so soon and so fast and working with professional guys and, and um, you know, around a great group and organization, it's just been a dream come true. And, yeah, not as a player, but you know, as a as a staff member in the NHL, it's it's you know just as great. Power's dream was to play in the National Hockey League, but there was a plan B just in case that did not work out, and that was exercise physiology, and that had started back in prep school. I went to the Gunnery um, in Washington, Connecticut, and and I remember you know I took uh, a couple elective classes. One was a sports medicine class. You know, I really enjoyed anatomy. I took AP anatomy and. You know, I really just enjoyed the human body and the way, learning the way it moved and all that stuff. And then when I, um, you know, started getting better and better at hockey and I committed to UMass Lowell, I got a trainer for the off season. His name is Andy O'Brien and he was the Florida Panthers strength and, strength and conditioning coach at the time and figured that he would know kind of what to do, right? Being a professional strength and conditioning coach and turned out that he was Sidney Crosby's trainer and worked with all these guys since Sidney was 14 years old. So. I got to learn a ton from him um, and just being able to, you know, transition that into, you know, making it a career for myself, uh, you know, I, I can't ask for anything more. And just knowing, I, I, mo I mostly knew when I was in prep school, um, but then, you know, as I was a player, I just fell in love with it even more as I was being trained by a great trainer. So I, at UMass Lowell, I took exercise physiology and nutrition and, you know, just really went head first into it all and just really had a strong passion for it. So. I guess it would, uh, if to answer your question, it would have started in prep school, but just, you know, the, the love for the human body and the way it moves and making myself better and other athletes better has always been a passion of mine, so just carried on. It was an injury that ended Tommy Powers' playing days and his on-ice dreams. It simply put, it was time to go to that previously mentioned plan B. And at that point, I was just like, you know what, I'm ready for to move on. I'm ready to take the next step in my career and... and change it up you know and uh like i said i've just been very passionate about making other people better making myself better finding new different ways and integrating it into my own philosophy and uh i just knew that it was time you know and i wanted to be able to to have a very successful career in the strength and conditioning aspect of making other athletes better and um you know that's when i decided hey you know and I'm, I'm finished playing hockey professionally and and luckily you know i'm in the position i am where i get to still go on the ice with these guys and i get to you know, help them condition themselves on the ice and recondition them and, you know, or just go out and mess around and play two on two or three on three with the guys that aren't playing that night, you know, and 
it's still so much fun. I still feel like I got a ton of skill out there. I still feel like I can play, you know, if they needed me, um, which is, uh, it's a lot of fun. You know, I, I don't have any regrets at all. Whether you are a player or a strength and conditioning coach, the road to the National Hockey League is not an easy one. After graduating from UMass Lowell, Powers worked as a personal trainer for Human Dynamics in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And it was while working there that he got the break he needed. You know, actually it was Matthew Dumba's agent that said, hey, what do you want to do? And I said, I really want to work for an NHL team one day. And, you know, it happened like that. I, he called me and he said, you know what? Um, you know, I think the Arizona Coyotes are going to be looking in the off season. And would you be interested? I'll, you know, I'll, I'll mention that, um, that you're interested in that position. And I said, of course. And, uh, and then he called me right away and he's like, you know what? You should be getting a call this afternoon from their assistant general manager, Brad Tree Living. And I said, okay. So, you know, I was like all in shock and call my parents and call my brother, whatever. And it just happened. They said, would you want to come down tomorrow for an interview? And I said, yes, of course, you know, and flew me down, flew me back same day, met with them, met with their offices, had lunch and, uh, you know, flew me back for another interview. And then before I knew it, I had the job. For Tommy Powers, the first stop was Arizona. And then after two years, a move back home to Florida and the Panthers. And Powers continues to push himself as hard as he can. Oh, I want to be the best, just like I wanted to be, you know, the best hockey player that I could be. I want to be the best strength conditioning coach that I can be. You know, I want to, I want to do different things. I'm very entrepreneurial too. Um, you know, I'm starting my own supplement line. It's actually supposed to launch in a few weeks. Um, you know, I'm trying to invent a couple of different things. It's, and as well as, you know, do this job the best that I can and make sure that we're making the playoffs and going to do well in the playoffs. And, um, you know, that, that's my goal. My goal is just to be the best that I can be and make this team the best that they can be. And, you know, everything just you know be a good businessman all that stuff so it's it's very exciting powers is rather busy these days his time at umass Hall may be a distant speck in the rearview mirror but they are without question still fresh in his memory i lived in uh in fox hall the first year obviously as a freshman that was that was kind of the rule and uh but then the next three years i lived in donahue with um you know seven other guys we had an eight eight guy suite and um, it was awesome. Like I said, Barry Goers, Paul Worthington, Nick Schaus, um, you know, all those guys. It was just so much fun. And we're still great friends. We still talk all the time. Um, you know, Scott Campbell, I can't go on and on about, about the guys. And, you know, we had some great nights in that, in that dorm. We were all very responsible, very in tune with our academics. But, you know, also found a lot of time to have some fun and, and go out after, you know, Saturday night games and, you know, or go to the, uh, you know, the basketball house or whatever it was and you know those are those are nights you just can't and, and times you can't ever forget those are the you know you, it's where you develop lifelong friendships. Tommy Powers works as a personal trainer during the summer months, works for the Florida Panthers during the hockey season, has his own startup supplement company and oh he has a patent for some workout equipment. Yeah Tommy Powers is rather busy these days. Sometimes I think like what are you doing Tommy? Slow down you're doing so many different things and your mind is like all over the map and but it's exciting for me. I don't know. I just feel like I can make a difference, you know, and I, I really want to make a difference. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. I just like doing it.